Hello, in this video we're going to go over this interesting problem. I call this one a pi series. So here is the problem. Let S be the set consisting of all positive integers for which the 10 digit block 31415926532653 which are the first 10 digits of pi appears somewhere in their base 10 representation. For example, this 10 digit uh, number and if you put a 1 in front and if you put 8, 9 at the end these would be two elements of S, but one, and if you throw in a nine in the middle, these are not in S. Does the series one over N, sum of one over N, when N is in S, converge? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to look at this one in a special case and see if I make this one a little bit easier, if I can solve this problem. Let's say instead of having a 10 digit block, I have only a one digit block. So I have let's say a digit 5 and I want to look at all the numbers that have the digit 5 in there and I want to see whether that sum is going to converge or that sum would diverge. So if you look at digit 5 and it appears somewhere, where can it appear? It can appear as the units digit 5 at the end and then some number in front. It could be x and then 5 here and then n here and etc. So let's focus on the case when 5 is the unit digit. So when 5 is the unit digit, you're going to have something like this. 1 over 5 is the unit digit, and the rest of it would be 10 times sum n. So every number of this form would appear in that sum. So let's see if this converges or not. It's not very difficult to see this diverges because the denominator is linear. So this is greater than or equal to 1 over 15 n because n is at least 1. And if you look at that, you know that this sum, the sum of 1 over 15n, this diverges by the harmonic series, because this is basically 1 15th of the harmonic series, which means this guy would also, by the comparison, test. Now, what if I have two digits? So I can just look at maybe like the digits 3 and 4. I can look at these and that gives me 1 over 100 n plus 34 and of course this is greater than or equal to 1 over 134 n and again this diverges therefore this would also diverge and the series of 1 over n when n consists of the, all the numbers that 3 4 appear somewhere in their decimal representation is going to be more than even the series with this, which means if this diverges, the other one would also diverge. Okay, so it, it becomes pretty clear that the answer is that the series diverges. So now let's see why. So the series 1 over n, n is in S, diverges. So every number, every integer of the form 10 to the 10 n plus 31415926653 is in S because the, the last 10 digits are 31415926653. So that means the given sum is larger than the sum of 1 over 10 to the 10 n and this n is a positive integer plus 31415926653 but this one diverges if you look at 1 over 10 to the 10 n plus 31415926653 this is going to be greater than or equal to 1 over 10 to the n plus 31415926653 times n. And this one is, by the way, 10 to the 10. And the series sum of 1 over 10 to the 10 plus 31415926653 n diverges. 
because this is just a multiple of harmonic series, which means by comparison test, the given series also diverges. So if you find this problem interesting, I would propose a similar problem for you to think about. So here's a similar problem. Let S be the set consisting of all positive integers for which their base 10 representation starts with these 10 digits. So not just like 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, 5, 3 appear somewhere in their decimal representation, but it starts with this. For example, these numbers that start with 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, 5, 3 are in S, but um, if you start from 1 and still get uh, put the 10-digit uh, block, that would not be in S. Now the question is, is the sum of 1 over n, n in S converge? And that would bring me to the end of this video. So I will see you in the next video.